Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa, another episode Ultra Despair Girls. Last time we defeated Monica. Today, the aftermath. Let's freaking go. That's right. Now, be a good little girl and just give up. No! No! Is Monica gonna be killed? I don't wanna die! No, there's no way I'd kill you. Of course not. But if you don't hand over that controller, it will not be pleasant. No! That's no good! If this controller is destroyed, Monica's plan will fail. And if that happens, Monica can no longer be the successor. That's enough! Just hurry up and hand it over, or I swear I will spank you good! Oh. Fine. If I break this, the Monokuma stop. And the brainwashing helmets will deactivate, right? And then this uprising will be over. But that was... Well, it was kind of easy. Is it really okay? <laughs> Ramen broth and climaxes should always be light. Or would you prefer an ending that has us getting beaten up and thrown from one despair to another? Just like your older brother. I don't want that, but... Well, you're forgetting the real happy ending comes after we rescue Master. So let's hurry up and end this. Uh, um... It's really okay to break this, right? It's obviously okay. You can stop the Monokumas and the brainwash gets lifted. Right. Well, you heard her. If we break the controller, the brainwashing gets lifted. Why would we choose to don't break the controller? Never mind the fact that, you know, the whole black and white Monokuma thing is going on. What I saw after that was fireworks. Fireworks heralding me as a savior. Yeah, a savior. The savior of Toa City. It's all thanks to me. I became hope. The hope of the adults who were treated so cruelly. Fireworks blessing me. It's all... Thanks to me, everything is all my fault. Don't break the controller. Something is concerning me. Concerning you? Concerning you? Concerning or disconcerting? Could it be that maybe you want to be Monica's ally at the last minute? So you're hesi hes hes No need to hesitate. Just break the controller! End this already! 
You're right. Nose! Please wait! Y you Why are you here? Don't! Don't break the controller! Yay! Kotoko, you came to save me! Shut up! Who the hell would want to save you? Huh? I didn't know breaking the controller would also end the brainwashing! That would be bad. If it's just the Monokumas, that's fine. But the kids, we'd lose all the friends we made. If that happens, I'm gonna be all alone. What friends? You brainwashed them. But even then, I don't want to be alone. Please, pretty, please don't take my friends away. Kotoko's right. Don't break that controller. If you don't, I promise, I'll kill all of the adults and build paradise. Sh shut your mouth, traitor! Kotoko, why are you saying such mean things? We're friends. N no, we're not! You're just a traitor who killed your own friends! Oh, please. Please forgive me. Let's just forgive and forget. Live in the now. Let's kill adults together again! Shut up! Be quiet! Die! W what's going on? Just let those idiots fight. Hurry up and break the controller! N no Stop! Please, leave me just some hope! I'll even settle for just a little! W what hope? You really think there's hope for you guys? Miss Kumara Naeki, please listen to Monica's request too. Please, make the right choice. If you don't choose right, you're gonna replay this moment over and over. So make the correct choice and end this properly. Correct choice? Don't break the controller. Kamaru? What happened? Huh? You're not gonna break it? That's weird. Why not? Didn't you want to stop those crazy kids? Didn't you want to be the heroine of this dirty, lame penal colony? Didn't you want to be everyone's hope? Just like your brother? I... I... Are you sure? If you don't break the controller now, this will just repeat over and over. Uh, hold on a second. This is backwards. Why do you suddenly want her to destroy the controller? destroyed Sh shut up you be quiet toko what should i do i will leave that decision to you but but uh, however because i'm leaving it to you i will share the responsibility as well so just do what you think is best what I think is best. They really want me to break that controller. But I'll refrain. I don't think it's a good idea to break it. At least, not right now. Right? Good! Thank you, Big Sis. Thank you so much for not breaking Monica's special controller. Jeez, which side are you on? 
It would be such a bummer if the end credits started rolling before all the cast was here. Cast? Hmm. He'll be here soon. Probably running down the hallway right now. See? His hand's on the door! Found you, Monica. See? Just like Monica said! Bullseye! We do have a sibling connection after all! Y you Why are you here? Big Brother came to save Monica, right? You're being so mean. Everybody's bullying Monica. Monica's getting picked on by the kids and the adults. Isn't that awful? Big Brother, save Monica. Don't tell me that's what you're actually here for. <laughs> Don't be an idiot! Who the hell's gonna save you? B Big Brother? Stop calling me that! You're not my sister! You're just the old man's mistake. I didn't want you around. I never thought of you as family. Why? Why are you being so mean? Monica's just a child. You're no child. You're a brat who never learned her place. And now it's biting you in the ass. It's over, Monica. I'm finishing this now. Please, stop it, brother. I'm scared. Uh, uh, Mr. Haichi. So that's the controller for the Monokumas. Huh? What are you doing? Hurry up and destroy it! End this nightmare already! Please stop! If you destroy that controller, all of Monica's hard work will be wasted! I won't be able to create the successor! I won't be able to inflict despair on the world! How crazy are you? Now hurry! Hurry and destroy it! I, I, I know, but... Don't! You can't destroy it! This is some kind of trap! Destroy it! Destroy it, Kamaru! What's going on? I mean, they raise a good point, but... Can't do it. What is this? Why are you siding with those brats? I I'm not siding with them or anything. Did you forget what they did? If that's the case, then shut up and listen. Listen? Time the people outside were watching. They saw you defeat Monica's robot. What? You did this, didn't you? You're filming all of this! Huh? Monica has no idea. They're still watching. They're waiting for you to destroy that controller. Everyone expects it from you. They're waiting for you to wake them up from this nightmare. You showed us hope. We were able to finally stand up to those brats because of your speech. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm not afraid of these kids anymore. It's all thanks to you. You are hope itself to us. 
But if you still can't make up your mind, I'll just have to help you choose. Oh! Tell them what you've done. Everything. The whole truth. And there's no way they'd side with you. Uh, everything? The reason why you want a successor. Everything. Tell them the truth. Or I'll make sure you regret it. Fine, I'll talk. It all started when I was still attending the Hope's Peak Academy Elementary School. Monica did a little prank to convince the Warriors of Hope to commit suicide. It was all a prank. Wait, what? That was a prank? Oh, of course. Monica didn't intend to end her own life at all. But you all took it so seriously. And around then... Monica met Big Sis Junko with the most miraculous timing. The moment Monica saw her, Monica understood. Big Sis Junko is light itself that will shine down on Monica's boring little world. It's a miracle! Thank you, God! At least, at the time I thought it was a miracle. But later I learned it was inevitable. She came into my life just to take advantage of me. Take advantage? By then, Monica was already a chief executive at Toa Group's robotics branch. Oh, big brother, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't it painful to watch your little sister surpass you? And I'm also sorry to you, Kotoko. You didn't want to hear that little truth, did you? Big Sis Junko only cared about Monica. The other warriors of hope were just bonuses. D don't make stuff up! Big Sis loved us all! Love? What are you talking about? There's no way someone would love you. Your own parents didn't even love you. Enough. Just keep talking. I I'm sorry, I got it. Stop, big brother. Uh, at first, Big Sis Junko was looking for a corporation that could mass produce machines so that she could use them for the tragedy. That's why, to meet her expectations, Monica started making all the Mr. Monokumas. Concentrating all of the resources of Toa Group's robotics branch. And just what was everyone else at Toa doing? Why did no one stop you? I lied. To Papa and Big Brother. I told them I was building robots that could be domestic helpers and emergency aid workers. And the adults actually bought that story? No, it's more like... We turned a blind eye. She was the outsider in our family. But she's tenacious, with a genius intellect. As long as she kept earning Toa Group money, we let her do whatever she wanted. This brat took advantage of her position and started mass producing these monsters on her own. I didn't know what the machines were even for, so as usual, I let her be. But I did think they had a weird design. And thanks to that, Monica made Big Sis Junko so happy, she started using them for the incident. That's what helped the incident get bigger and bigger. That's when the old man finally realized what was up. And when he tried to stop you. It's a little too late to stop producing the Monokumas anyway, right? If we stopped, Big Sis Junko would reveal the whole thing. She would make it known that Toa Group built all those murder machines. And if she did that, Toa Group's finished. Monica, are you threatening me? Jeez, Papa, that's not it. It's more like a business opportunity. This little bitch sold us the idea of making a weapon to fight the Monokumas. Y you 
made them, and then you sold the weapons to fight against them as well? The more out of hand the situation got, the more profitable Toa became. Hm. Just what a filthy demon would do. We didn't have a choice. We're in too deep. If we went against the Despair group, they'd reveal what Monica did under Toa's name. Then Toa makes enemies with both forces. We'd be shunned. Or extinct. Anyways, Toa group did the right thing and chose to coexist with the Despair. And to the public, they looked like heroes fighting against the incident. But behind the scenes, they were working for both sides. So that's why some of those notes are beginning to make a little more sense about the whole like war between Toa Group and Future Foundation. The reason that air purifier they developed was so effective was because they were part of the cause in the first place. That's why the incident didn't hit them as hard. Those idiot adults didn't know that. So they worshipped Toa Group like they were saviors. But you better not blame this all on me. By the end, even Papa was into it. He supported the incident for money and honor. He ended up being a patron of Big Sis Junko. Toa Group? Junko Enoshima's patron? So that's why you distanced yourself from Future Foundation. You didn't want to get found out. No matter how rotten it is, Toa Group is still my legacy. I want to protect it. But the good times had to end eventually. Just when things were gonna get much, much more fun, Big Sis Junko died. All thanks to your brother, Miss Komaru Naegi. Since then, Future Foundation gained power, and Big Sis's influence got weaker and weaker. Monica tried her best to rebuild it by any means necessary. But Papa just said it's over, and gave up, like all the fickle wishy-washy adults do. Papa betrayed Big Sis. No matter what Monica said, Papa just wouldn't listen anymore. You couldn't forgive him for that, could you? That's why you targeted this city. That's what you told us, right? All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. We need to build a paradise and take revenge against the adults who betrayed us. Monica is so grateful to the warriors of hope. Adults are dirty demons who killed Big Sis. You guys killed them off so well for me. I was so happy. It was just as I thought. Kids are so simple-minded. The truth is, Monica didn't really care about things like revenge and paradise. Succeeding Big Sis's will was far more important. Monica doesn't want Junko and Oshima's legacy to end. So that's how you came to the brilliant conclusion that you should become the successor? And in order to become the successor, what exactly did you do? Big Sis used to say all the time that she wanted to paint the world with despair. If someone could do that, don't you think they would make the best successor ever? What do you mean? War! Huh? Causing war. If a war breaks out, the world topples back into despair, right? War? What are you talking about, brat? You're bluffing. You're trying to trick us again, aren't you? You've got some ulterior motive. If you think so, why don't you just break that controller Ms. Komaru has? Break the controller, and start a war. Wait, why would a war break out if this controller is destroyed? I told you she's bluffing. She's just using reverse psychology. Oh, hey, don't call Monica a liar. You told 
me to talk. I told you to tell the truth, not spew more of your lies. Enough of this. No more talk. Destroy that controller right now. Huh? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Don't tell me you seriously trust what this kid said. I mean, it's a pretty tall ask there, but you got to hold on. Wait, no, I can't break it yet. So you're taking this little brat's word over mine? It's not like that. But please wait, I remember. Remember? What? A while ago, Monica and Kuro Kuma were having a secret talk. I was listening in. What are you talking about? Get to the point. At the time, I thought they were kidding. But maybe they weren't. If that's the case, this is very bad. What are you talking about? The Monokuma heads the kids are wearing. They're linked to the Monokuma's power source. If that power source is cut off, the helmets explode! Yep! Explode? If you destroy the controller, the Monokuma stop! But all the Monokuma heads will blow up! And then, headless children everywhere! Oh, come on, an exploding helmet? You expect us to believe that made up bullshit? I mean, we technically saw it firsthand. Remember? Them fireworks? Yeah. But I'm serious! I heard them say it! You know Monica would totally pull something like that! She betrayed the Warriors of Hope! She could do it without even feeling guilty about it! So, so mean, Kotoko! Making me out to be the bad guy! Monica doesn't want the controller to be destroyed. Bitch. Rift in the group now, huh? Well, if you're both lying, you need to get your story straight. No, I'm serious! I heard it! That's enough. Destroy that thing already. N no! Never ever destroy that controller! <sighs> Would we believe? Haiji or Kotoko? I'm more inclined to believe her. For now. Hey, what are you doing? Why aren't you destroying it? Because the children might die if I do. They're bluffing. I've been trying to tell you. But even if there's a small chance they're not, I can't do it. The kids wearing those helmets, they're just being brainwashed. None of this is their fault. Not everyone involved was doing this of their own will. Brainwashing? Are you serious? Who the hell cares about that? After all this, that excuse is not going to fly. Even if they all died, they had it coming. You've seen what they did to us. They deserve it. You can't be serious. You're just blinded by revenge. Maybe I am. But how can I not be? After what they did to us. Not even the harshest revenge is enough to make me forget what I've been through. Listen, listen outside. The screams of the adults, the ones who lost everything. Our 
loved ones were butchered by those little brats. They took everything from us. But you were the one who told us to stand and fight, right? It's because of your speech that we're even here right now. If you really are our ally, then finish this. <laughs> you are... You're our hope. Please, don't betray us. Destroy the controller, please. Please, just end this for us. We just want it to be over. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You can't fool me. Me? No, idiot. You. I'm talking to you. Say what? Hmm? Are you talking to Monica? I get it now. What you meant by war. You're trying to start a war between Toa City and Future Foundation. What? If the children are killed, what would Future Foundation do when they found out? think the adults who survived were behind it. And then they'd find out Toa Group was involved with manufacturing the Monokumas. From that evidence, I'm guessing Future Foundation would think the adults were remnants of despair. And if that happens, Future Foundation would crush this town immediately. That's the idea, isn't it? Nope, that's not quite it. Because it won't just end with the war between Toa and Future Foundation. Huh? Future Foundation isn't the only one who'd see the adults as remnants of despair. The true remnants of despair that are spread all over the world. They'd learn about the war in Toa City and they'd come charging in. Toa City would become the heart of a resurgence of the despair that Big Sis Junko left us. Worthy of the name of Junko and Oshima. Wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this? She can't be. She's bluffing anyway. Even if it were true, all you'd have to do is explain the situation to Future Foundation, right? And you're with them, right, Toko? I mean, you could straighten this all out easily. Well, you're suddenly being a little friendly. shares a past with the incident, they won't take any chances. The moment they see the headless bodies of children in the streets, it's over. They wouldn't even care about their hostage or Miss Toko's testimony, don't you think? What? Child victims have quite an impact on people. She's not wrong. It's just like I said from the beginning. Pitiful children are the most powerful. So that was your plan. You need the adults to take revenge so they will cause more child victims. You chose adults with no children because you thought they'd kill the kids with no remorse. I mean, adults with no children wouldn't have a single bit of mercy, would they? Right then. We were... We were sorted and kept alive. You used Kamaru to incite the adults to take revenge against the kids, didn't you? Huh? <laughs> Monica may have helped things along, but Miss Kamaru's transformation was her own doing. That delicate little girl maturing, growing to overcome the despair as hope itself. You even grew to care about this town. Wanting to save it, becoming the hope for the adults. But even so, you know hope isn't always a good thing. At times, hope can be a terrible burden. It can be a drive to hurt others, just like now. That's... What did you think would happen if you gave people who watched their loved ones die hope? Did you think they'd all be positive, working together nice and peacefully? Of course not! They will turn into demons, 
Demons who live for revenge. You see? Just listen to them. Yep. All this time, Kamaru was being groomed. And even now that they know the truth, they don't even care. children are gonna explode. Rather, they sound pretty excited about it, don't you think? That's the sound of people who have completely transformed into demons. And this is all your fault, Big Sis. Me? It's because you stirred up the adults. It's your hope that turned them into demons, you know? So that makes it all, all, all your fault. Miss Kamaru Nayagi. What are you talking about? It's not Kamaru's fault, it's yours! Wait! Listen to what she's saying! If what she said is true, then she should have wanted to destroy the controller right away. She could have just destroyed the damn thing herself. Then she would have her war. No, that wouldn't do. That would not be worthy of the successor, now would it? She stood. Monica stood up. That's not important right now. Not just the city, but the whole world. How could this happen? So, anyways, what are you gonna do, huh? How are you gonna end this? Are you gonna kill the children and play the savior? Or. Are you going to spare the children's lives and let them keep slaughtering the adults? Who lives? Who dies? That is your choice. There's no way to save both. One side has to die. And you're going to kill them. <laughs> now, it's about time you made your final choice. The final choice you can make as Komaru Naegi. Choose wisely! The final choice is Komaru Nayegi. Wonder what she means by that. Let, let's hold on and, and just, you know, s see how this plays out. No. No, it's impossible. <laughs> I. I can't break it. No. You're gonna break it, alright. Monica knows. You're gonna destroy the controller, and then the children's heads are gonna explode! And that's when the war begins! And the successor, a new splendid symbol of despair, will be born! Y you don't know that! And like, there's no way I'd ever accept you as a successor in the first place! There's no way you can be a vessel of Big Sis Juko! Kotoko. When did I ever say that Monica wanted to be the successor? What a twist that's coming up right now. I, I'm sorry, I'm just getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited. Huh? Monica's not the one who's going to be the successor. Because if you paid attention to when she was talking all that time, she never said anything about her becoming the successor. And, you know, e even... When she opened that door, the whole, oh, mom and dad, your daughter's going to be the successor. Monica's dad is dead. So who is she talking to? Miss Komaru Naegi. Yeah. Paint the world with despair. That's what Big Sis Junko always used to say, you know? 
What could be more despair inducing than having Makoto Naegi's sister be the successor? So, the one who's going to murder all these kids has to be Miss Komaru herself. What are you saying? Oh, don't worry. It's not hard. All you have to do is destroy the controller. Just look at that juxtaposition, though. The sister of the ultimate hope is the ultimate despair. I've already prepared cameras so that the moment is recorded and sent to Future Foundation. With Monica's video message as a bonus set. Monica already declared that Miss Komara Naegi will succeed the legacy of Big Sis Juko. What do you mean? Why would I? Like I said, don't listen to her. She's just trying to keep you from destroying it. <laughs> Big brother, you've just been saying that over and over. Adults don't like change. You shitty little brat. Enough! Give me the controller. I'll destroy it myself. But if we do that, the children will die. What else are we supposed to do? We have to end this massacre. What about all the adults who died? Are we just going to forget about them? Don't go dragging us into your revenge. Kamaru has nothing to do with this. That's right. There's no reason to kill them. You don't have to be a part of this one bit. No need, no reason, no relation. That's the difference between Big Brother and Miss Komaru. This isn't personal for her. But I knew that might be a problem, so Monica made sure to make a special request. To get Miss Komaru to want revenge, I needed help from her parents. <sighs> now come on over here. Let's open the gates of hell with Monica. You too, mom and dad. The climax is gonna start soon. Your child will be born again as the successor to Junko and Oshima. <laughs> Body break? Get a list of insults ready for Monica? Have you mentally prepared yourself to surrender to despair, unable to suppress the urge to kill? Then I'll show you! What? More bodies again? You don't have to show them, you know. I'm already well aware how terrible you are. After all this, you're still showing off killing adults? How crazy are you? Kamaru? She probably wrote the message on the floor with her dying breath. Yep. But when she collapsed, the blood stuck. That's how those letters ended up on her skirt. Kamaru? Makoto? <laughs> Did you notice? She wrote the names of her children before she died. You have such loving parents. I'm jealous. Family love. It sounds so nice. Something I've never felt my whole life. What? 
lies. It's just a lie. Those bodies. No, it couldn't be. There's no way. Normally, a dying message is something like writing the killer's name. Oh, that's not a very convincing argument at all. You can't refute me like that. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, right? I played with the bodies of your family like toys. And now you want to kill me, right? No way! That's a lie! Well, I'm not so sure about that. You said your parents are missing, right? Hey, what are you... Showing it to you right now, like this? That means it's gotta be true, without a doubt. Now, are you gonna just forget the fact that this bitch murdered your own parents? Shame on you! That's not fair! You said she was bluffing a minute ago! You can't think of them as children. They're not anymore. They're the ones who are demons. Destroy that controller and finish it! Kill them all! Not just for your sake, or your parents' sake, but for everyone who was murdered! Hold on. We can't just do something like that. It, it's fine. Kamaru? If you want me to destroy it that much, I'll do it. I said hold on. Calm down and think carefully. Com Shut up! <laughs> No matter what happens to adults, no matter what happens to children, no matter what happens to this town, no matter what happens to the world, I don't give a damn anymore. I don't give a damn. Kamaru? Toko, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> it's impossible. I. I can't become like Makoto. <laughs> this was all determined from the very start. The hope you felt was just for the sake of making you feel the worst kind of despair. I knew from the beginning that you would fall into despair. Well, looks like we don't have a choice. Time to complete the transformation. Hello, new ultimate despair. But wait. Better run, bitch, run. Okay, that was that was inappropriate, but there's still hope. Could you possibly know that? I, I don't know how, I just know! Huh? I've been told you weren't the type to interfere. That's why I chose you to take on the role of escort. But it appears that the information Mr. Servant provided was false. So, how about this? 
That's right. It's the key to the room where Mr. Byakuya Togami is locked inside. Say, you want to trade this key for that controller? If you do, you can go home with Mr. Byakuya Togami. You're telling me to choose between Kamaru and Master? <laughs> now it's your turn to make a choice. Fine, then. Hand over Master's key. I knew you'd do it! Now, why don't you just hand me that controller? No, not gonna happen. Huh? Because... I'm taking Kamaro home with me as well. What are you saying? You gotta make a choice, that's the rules. Who... Who cares about your damn rules? You want me to make a choice? There's no way I could ever make that choice! I wouldn't choose one and leave the other behind! Both are... both are important to me. So... so... I'll definitely protect both! What the heck? That's just unreasonable. Enough already! Just hand over that controller! I'll crush it! I'll never... I'll never hand it over! Do you want me to hurt you even more? Hurt? That means nothing to me! I'm sure you don't understand, since you have plenty of disposable friends, but... I finally made a friend in Komaru, and I'm not going to hurt my friend, so... I'll never hand it over! Shut up! In order to keep the kids under control and end this nightmare, this is the only way! No! You're the ones who are out of control! Ow! Let go! I won't let go! Hey, what are you guys doing? So yeah, shit kind of hit the fan, huh? That hurts. What? You you hit me. My hand hurts. But that's not the only thing that hurts. This is the first time I've ever slapped someone in the face. See what you've made me do? Now come on, hit me back. <sighs> Why? Isn't it obvious? It, it makes us even. I've never had a friend, so I... I don't know what to do in situations like this. So just for now, if you hit me, we're square, right? So, hit me! Fine. That was pretty strong. Jeez! You're right. You're right. <laughs> My hand hurts. That's not the only thing that hurts. Yeah. We're the same. If you can't do something on your own, all I have to do is help you. 
If I can't do something on my own, all you have to do is help me. Helping each other. That's the advantage of working together, right? Yeah. And just so you know, I won't comfort you or pity you. I'm not good at that stuff. And we still don't know if... if those were really your parents. We can't be distracted by the stuff that doesn't make sense. Focus on what's happening now. What do you want to do right now? Have you decided? Yeah. I have. I want to protect both. I'm not going to play her sick little game. I'm going to save the adults and the children. <laughs> Greedy girl. Can't say I don't approve. Looks like it's targeting us. Also, before I uh, don't get a chance to say this uh, later on, or I forget to say it, it's a nice touch that they have you control Toko. Not Genocide Jill, but Toko for that scene where you're running to stop uh, Komaru. Sort of like ties the whole character development thing, you know, in a nice little bow. Yeah, I mean, Toko, she might still be an annoying punk. But, at least she's trying to do better. Or maybe it's aiming for the controller. What should we do? Fight. I'll fight. I've decided. I'll fight to protect everyone. Toko, will you help me? Isn't it obvious? It's normal for friends to help each other. And funny you say that because I don't even think it's possible to win this fight without like using them both. Or at least do it unscathed. You and I Danger Will Robinson. Power of the ultra dangerous sisters. Okay, that did a lot of damage. But uh yeah. What's that? Uh, it, so I did. his attacks are color coded. Not good enough for you? Okay, Toko. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, how about we try to top that? This is, right. is this old lady just not going to happen. No, they're tracking you. No use running. Because not too far away. <laughs> the attacks are color coded. Need to do what. His eye is going to do. I need burn. I need burn. All right, come on, baby Bowser. Get away. Okay. He tried to hit me with the baby Bowser. I mean, he successfully did, but. Okay, come on, Toko. <laughs> we switched to t we uh, or we switched to Jill to get help. There we go. Is that even doing anything? Wait. Okay, yeah, that was dumb. I should have stuck with knockback. Okay, what attack you doing now? Oh yeah, I think I need Toko for this one. Cause I can't actually do anything about that. All right, yellow. Okay. It's time for my big break. It's only a game, so... Okay. Come on. Alright. So far, so good. More bullets. Uh, knockback. Come on, Jack. Get him out of here. 
He's smoking. Smoking Joe Frazier. Okay. We're going to switch to Toko for this one because I really don't know how to avoid that attack. Oh, God. Burn. All right. He's on his baby Bowser grind. Okay. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno! Oh, that was a lot. I won't abandon anyone. I won't give in. I won't fall into despair. You tell him, Kamaru. The town is doomed? I'll fall into despair? No, that's wrong. You tell him. Kamaru, you go, girl. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh, you're doing this again? Kia, you little bitch. All right. Oh, knock back. Okay, I'm ready. Get him out of here. Oh, he's smoking. He's in pain. He's back on his baby Bowser grind. Looks like he's also going to be doing a little bit of both. Uh, that's not knockback. Okay. What you doing now, boy? What you doing now, fam? Oh, no. Friendship. Kamaru and I are not alone. As long as there are friends who help each other, there's no need to despair at all. I found it. I finally found hope. I hope to call my own. Right, Kamaru? <laughs> yeah, me too! We got a hope bullet! We're Super Metroid in this bizzage! Hope lives on! Though technically it wasn't the hope beam in Super Metroid, it was the hyper beam? But uh, whatever. Kick his ass! Hit him with that hope. You know shit always goes down when the main theme plays. Kuma? You gotta be kidding! What the hell did you do? You're kidding me. No. Big Bang Monokuma is our hope. That's. And now it's over. It's not over yet. Nothing's finished yet. This is just... It's just delaying the inevitable. The children are still brainwashed. The adults still want revenge. In fact, they're even more angry now, having their hope killed like that. So nothing's changed! This isn't a happy ending, or a sad one. This isn't hope or despair! Nothing has changed. So are you gonna kill Monica? Take a little revenge for yourself? 
It's just fine. If Monica is killed by Makoto Naegi's sister, that should be enough to spare. Give me the key to Byakuya's room. Huh? Hand it over. point I suppose I have to compromise with no more hostage future foundation will come and the remnants of despair will follow maybe it's not going exactly to plan but maybe a small-scale war will start I'll compromise Monica has to be an adult sometimes after all but this really has nothing to do with you two does it this town this planet they don't matter to you two. You just want your happy ending. You're not even letting me have a small taste of despair! <laughs> Yak all you want. Let's go, Kamaru. Monica miscalculated. I overestimated you. Well, I guess Monica was not the only one. You thought too highly of yourself as well. Monica tried to imitate Big Sis Junko. You tried to imitate your brother. But in the end, we both failed. Neither of us could live up to expectations. There's no way I could imitate him. And no way I'd want to. I am not my brother. Makoto is Makoto. And I am me. Don't mess with me. An ending without hope or despair? Monica will definitely... Here you beg for your life just because your plan didn't work. Huh? You must have noticed by now. I was acting this whole time. But even now, I love you lots. Even though you betrayed me, my feelings haven't changed. So, it'd be great if you could die in a totally adorbs death. Bye-bye forever. Don't you want to take your revenge on Monica? Don't you want to kill Monica? You weren't satisfied with this, right? You weren't just gonna walk away. I don't want it to end like this either. Big Sis Junko would hate me if I let it end like this. Hope. Despair. I don't care anymore. This is what despair feels like. Whatever it is, there's really no point worrying about it now. More importantly, we need to save Master and get out of here right away. Hmm? What happened? 
I know I can save both the adults and the children. Well, we can chat about it after we get out of this damn town, once and for all. Toko, I... I'm staying in this town. Huh? Well, we earned a trophy, hopefully. And I got an A. <laughs> a. All right. Only one chapter I didn't get an A on. This sucks. A reminder, this is Toko's fantasy. I... I finally realize. You actually make me angry and happy each time. You have more influence over me than anyone. Let's be together for the rest of our lives. Grow old together. Die together. For now, we depart. Take off towards our future. So that was bizarre. Hey, inner power generator, just in time for the end of the freaking game. And 500 mana coins. Woo. So chapter five, absolute despair girl has come to an end. To be continued. Phone. Well, now that that's taken care of, uh, I tend to make the epilogue their own thing anyway. So, uh, see you all next time for the epilogue of Let's Play Down Your Rampa, another episode of Despair Girls. Goodbye.